In 2003, audiences returned to the land of Oz, thanks to the Broadway hit Wicked. The show was declared the best musical of the decade and has now been performed in more than 100 cities in 15 countries. It tells the story of Dorothy, Landed in Oz, giving us a little insight behind Glinda the Good Witch and how the Witch of the West turned wicked. It's playing at the Detroit Opera House through September 2nd. And joining me are the stars of the show, Mary Kate Morrissey, <laughs> who plays Elphaba, and Jenna Claire Mason, who plays Glinda. Hi, Tati. Hi, Thank guys. You for having us. There's all this excitement and energy <laughs> with this. <laughs> so, the musical of the decade. Right. That's amazing. Does Epic. it add any extra pressure? Oh, well, it's really cool. To, I feel like we're, you know, in school we study musical theater history, and it's mm -hmm. fun to feel now like we're part of creating musical theater history, you know, with such an epic show. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I second that 100%. Okay. <laughs> <Like that. laughs> Nailed it. So do you think that it gives a lot of pressure for people who are going to see it? Or just like people are open and they love it and they're excited. Yeah, I think that generally speaking, the audiences here, especially in Detroit, have been so fun and like really fun. responsive. And I, I never feel like, I never want an audience to feel pressure for seeing a show ever. It should just be really fun and just enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy it. The second you hear the downbeat of the orchestration in the show, we hear people, and I'm like up in the bubble. Uh -huh. I hear people in the audience like, Whoa! Oh, it's awesome. like that hasn't even started yet, and it seems like they're really enjoying it. I love it. So, I love that's it. great energy for us too, because that's the beauty of live theater is we really feed off that energy, mm -hmm. and the acoustics are so good in the mm -hmm. Detroit Opera House. So we're really we're feeling all that everything they're it. giving us. I love <laughs> it. I love it. So Wicked is great in that it explores what really is wicked behavior, right? Sure, and it, I think m more than it, it explores the label of wicked or like maybe a negative label and like what happens underneath that and mm -hmm. um, things are not always what they seem and a lot of times people are going on their own journey and living their own um, trials and hopefully what I think people take away from it right now is seeing through someone else's eyes like the other or the person of color or the person who is um, especially in America you know where uh, the political climate is kind of um, tense and hopefully you can look at it and see um, oh we all share like this common human thing right. like we all share being an underdog we all share these things and I think that that's what makes Wicked so successful too mm. is that people can see themselves in the role and when Elphaba flies up they can feel themselves like flying too like mm. oh, you know gives people something to really connect to yeah yeah and now we also see um, the origin stories a lot of a lot of the classic Wizard of Oz characters, which is cool. Yes, I think that's really fun for people who love the Wizard of Oz, like mm -hmm. I did growing up. There's definitely humor and a foundation that's built upon with the Wizard of Oz. Or if you've never seen the Wizard of Oz, it's still such an enjoyable show. Yes, it never gets old. But it there's almost never. like inside secrets if you are intimately familiar with you know I secret love jokes. It. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I yeah. Love it. So. Hmm, now I definitely have to see this yes. show. <laughs> so when you look at the musical's impact on pop, pop culture, mm -hmm. how do you feel like it ranks amongst like the others, like Hamilton and Rent and Phantom of the Opera? How does it fit into that mix? Not asking like what's better or worse, but like how does it feel? I think it's equally relevant. I think that like I'm such a fan of Hamilton, and we like me and Rent. That's and like Rent we, we, we like, oh were raised God. on these classics that you're talking about. Yeah, and it's kind of it's fun that this is up there in that kind of a uh, group of like iconic shows. Mm -hmm. But the reason why all of these shows have such a long shelf life is because they are time and time again relevant in whatever climate. Mm -hmm. America is and there. continues to appeal yeah. to yeah audiences the masses yeah. people connect with them they and connect the music with them. is so good people just know the songs yeah everybody upstairs was saying well Michelle Oliver and Rachel Sweet our associate producer was saying they know all the songs but have never actually seen with oh, them which is crazy yeah, yeah. Okay, ladies thank you so much for being here we appreciate you thank you again for having us. Wicked is at the Detroit Opera House through September 2nd and